Today, I will be showing you how to use the FlowFab web quote system. And uh, we will log in using the engineering login credentials, being engineering and the password being 8888. So let's proceed. Engineering 8888, login from our own page. And then uh, you come to the main screen. Uh, most functions will be on the bottom black area. So we will be doing a new project or a new quote. We're going to hit new quote button. We're going to enter your project name and contact. Don't forget to save on the bottom here your characters or you will lose them. Once you've entered all the characters and you've saved them, uh, you will see a six-digit number on the bottom here that you can use to send FlowFab for any reviews. Uh, but we encourage you to do the most you can inside that quote and send it to us. But let's try to uh, go ahead and add a pump. So like you see, you can add a pump, add a storage buffer tank, add a system, add an expansion tank, heat exchangers, and transform all your quote to drawings to PDF later on. So let's do add a pump. Let's say the specification calls for a vertical inline with a coupling. We will choose the FlowFab 880RI, which is a, a couple pump with the removable impeller feature. And now we're going to add this pump at 800 GPM, 70 feet of head. You need to use proper construction. Consult a FlowFab to know what the construction is for each product. But basically, 880RI in this case will be bronze fitted. You would add a percentage of glycol if you have glycol in the system, depending on the schedule. You can go ahead and choose which type of motor you want. FlowFab sells only TFC motors, so I encourage you to always switch this to TFC. We were going to do. We are going to do a non-overload on all the curve selection. We're going to choose proper speed and frequency. Shift this to the right voltage. In this case, let's say we need a 460, 43 phase voltage. And additional options. Uh, you can upfront ask the software to predetermine the multifunction or triple duty valve by clicking this box. You can also select the suction diffuser and ask the software to predetermine different suction diffusers available for that pump by clicking this box. And you can also select a VFD by checking this box. Keep in mind, if you do select the VFD, you will have to add an option down the road to allow the factory to mount the, the VFD wire it and pre-program it in the factory and we will see where that option is later so at this stage you can hit find pumps we will wait for the selection to come on so here you have three choices if you want to rank them by efficiency you can hit that button but in this case they are already ranked by random efficiency uh, just to show you what happens, we're going to hit the button. So you see now you see your RPM, impeller diameter, DHP, brake force power required uh, at duty point, the non overload power on all the curve, uh, the NPSH data. If it is an NPSH requirement on the, on the project, you will need to consider that data. You see the list prices here on the right, and you can. Uh, Hit your cursor on each curve and see where you are on the curve and determine which curve you want. In this case, this is the best selection. Once you hit that round dot, you will notice all the options will appear down here. So you can come here and let's say you want an extra seal, which we strongly recommend using every time. This one is larger than 15 horsepower, so we're going to select this one. 
you can do it, go down and let's say you want, again, as I said previously, you want to mount DFD, wire it and program it. We've, we're going to select a Danfoss sensor, so we're going to use this option. If you're using an ABB or a Yaskawa drive, you need to use the non sensorless with transducer, the transducer option. So in this case, we want a sensorless drive. You can uh, go ahead and also ask for shaft groundings or any other option listed here. To know more about these options, you can contact the factory if you're not sure. So quantity of two pumps, uh, let's say it's a CHP one and two is the tag listed on the schedule. You want to add this pump to the quote. Now you come up to the screen for the triple duty or multifunction valve. You will see by default that eight inch valve is under two PSI pressure drop. If you want a bigger one, you can choose any one you want here, but let's say we want this one. We add it to the quote. Now let's say you know you have eight inch piping uh, on this project and your pump, you know it's a six inch, so you want to select the eight by six section diffuser. If the pipe would be six inch, you would choose the six by six. So you want to go ahead and add this to the quote. You can now select the drive, depending on the requirement, with or without bypass, disconnect fuses, and so on, depending on the options, you have to be careful and select the proper one. Let's say in this case, which is the most used, is the first one here on top. Then you can select this one, add it to the quote. And here we go, we've just added a pump for a quantity of two. You can see it here, it's going to be a 20 horsepower non-overload selection, 800 GPM, 70 feet of head, your tag numbers. Uh, here you can reopen the curve, clicking here. You can open the uh, dimensional drawing in 2D PDF, or you can go back and edit options on this selection. So let's go back just to show you what we can do if we go back here. So you're back to all the options. And let's say you saw on the spec that you need a certified NPSH curve. You can come here, check that box. You can also edit the multi-function valve, suction diffuser, drive uh, by adding it. And you will remove the other one once you're back to the quote page. But let's say you got the wrong voltage. We're going to switch this to 208. And don't forget to go down that page. You see the actual options you had selected previously. Keep them there and hit that save checkbox on the bottom to save it. If you want to go back to your quote, you got to go back to that number here and select it. So here we are. We're back to the quote. We've modified what we wanted. If you want to see what it does when you're opening a drawing, you can just click that box. It's going to open a separate box showing you the drawing with all dimensions. So we're going to close this for now. And then you can keep going. And let's say we want to add a buffer tank. You always go back, refer to that black area at the bottom. And we want to add an expansion tank. So let's say we want to add this expansion tank. We need a re replaceable bladder. A 1000 model. So you got the non replaceable bladder, the replaceable bladder here. We're going to select that replaceable bladder tank. So I've said a 1000 model, so it would be a BT 1000V. Generally speaking, uh, these tanks carry almost all the same numbers as a model. So if you're looking for a competitor's product that carries that 1000 model, it's going to be the same with FlowFab. So that's a 264 gallon. You want to select this one. If you need any options, you can select these options here. And you can come here and put the tag number. So let's say in this case, it's T1. We just want one. We had it to a quote. Here we are. We, know we have now had it to this quote, a tank. So you can keep going like this and add items. 
separate items. You can have a miscellaneous storage buffer tank. Even add a system if you want. <clears throat> we will do another video that will show how to add a system to a quote, which is a more complex process, but once you uh, get used to it, you will uh, really like this system. Anyway, um, let's say you want to show this quote and print it. So you can uh, view your quote. Or print it. Show you part two of the web quote video basics today. How to retrieve a quote easy. Then you enter your login and password on top and you enter. Uh, only the engineering 8888 credentials cannot go back to a quote and modify it. But any rep that wants to go back and find a quote can go in there by hitting the quote digit here, entering the number, here's your quote, you select it, press enter, and you're back in there. So I want to show you how you can build the schedule and add notes to your schedule and so on. So we're just going to do another pump selection here. Uh, let's say we want to go with uh, an XRI pump. You try. Let's go 1100 GPM. 110 feet. Always make sure you pro use a proper material construction selection. In the, in the case of the XRI, it's iron body with SS304 fitted. Keep in mind, we always use TFC motors on our equipment. Use a proper voltage. And let's say you want to have suction diffuser, triple duty valve only in this case. And you can hit the Find Pump button. So here are your choices. In this case, we have a 10 feet NPSH requirement. So I believe this would be the best curve looking at the NPSH data here on the right, which is 7.02. So let's say we want this one. You can add 80 options that required. We don't have any VFDs, so we're going to leave it as is. Select two pumps. So we're going to call this tag CTP1 and 2. Add it to the quote. Select our triple duty valve. Remember, eight inch size. Select our suction diffuser. And we're back to the quote. We can go down to this selection, we just did, which should show up right here, CTP1 and 2. You've selected a 50 horsepower pump for, in, for a quantity of two with these tags. Now you want to add some notes in there. So remember, we, we have a, an NPSH requirement. NPSH A, where Z pulled to 10 feet. We had a triple duty valve of eight inches and a suction diffuser of 10 inches by 8 inches. So see, save these characters right here. Here we go, we're done. Now, we had our previous selections, uh, two pumps here with some notes in there and some you know, options, the section selection here, 
with the notes if we just had it. And we can go ahead and print as a schedule. So you want to print as a schedule, you click on this button here. You will get to this screen. You want to take out prices, terms and conditions. You don't want to show that in a schedule. You don't want to show your header in there, make it more uh, slick. You want to show it horizontal. And we're going to show it this time. We're not going to print it. So you submit. You hit the OK button. Here's the schedule. I, I already had put notes for CHP 1 and 2 here. And I've added these notes for the other tag I've added. And you also see the tank below, which has no notes to it. So this is how you can uh, print everything you've put in your quote to a schedule. So we'll go back to the quote. The next step, you might want to print these drawings to PDF. So here is the drawings to PDF button. It will open a separate window and the file should show up at the bottom here somewhere. You can go back and retrieve this document in your downloads, but you can also open it from this window and go directly to the report. And here you go. You have all your drawings with uh, all the data, dimensional data, pump, curve, with the information on top. Keep scrolling down. You got your second tag with the XRI pump. You need to use it, click the proper selection desired in this case because we can do multiple positions with this pump. And you can go to the curve again. Our NPSHR is fine, it's under 10. And here you go for the drawings. Uh, so you can close that down, close the other window down, and close your schedule and go back to the quote. You can also print this quote to a PDF file or in a paper copy. So let's print it to PDF. You enter your quote number. And you save it. So here you go. These are more features of our web quote system. For any assistance, call our office and ask for our web quote assistant. And our reception will hand you to this person and we will help you guide you through the software. I hope you enjoyed and I thank you for your time and wish you a lot of luck selling your box. Have a nice day.